Hello everybody and welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. Today we're at Walt Disney World in Orlando, Florida and it's the first time we're back here in the Magic Kingdom. <laughs> it's been a year since we've kind of been in a Disney park like this. Disneyland's been closed because of the pandemic. Kids are already crying. I'm already crying. Can you even believe it? <laughs> Today we hope to go on some of the rides that we missed from Disneyland. We hope to eat some of the treats that we missed and actually experience some of the stuff that we don't have in California, come with us on this adventure. <laughs> About to head to the Magic Kingdom. How do we go? Do we go ferry? Do we go monorail? Of course. Monorail! the Magic Kingdom is our least favorite Disney World park. But I think that's because we have Disneyland and it's so much like Magic Kingdom. You know, why come to something that's like so similar in Florida? But with Disneyland closed for a year, I'm so excited to experience Magic Kingdom. Have a magical time, guys. Thank you. I gotta say, it feels good to be back on Main Street with this music. I mean, don't get me wrong, the Disneyland Downtown Disney Loop is, is, is magical in its own way, <laughs> but this old timey music here on Main Street. Yeah, I'm crying. Oh my God, I can't get right now, but I'm Just as we got in, the music started to play. There's a cavalcade going on. We're gonna see characters for the first time in a year. <laughs> I can't stop crying. I really didn't think this was gonna happen, but uh, this is like too perfect. Can you even hear me? I don't know. I brought like 10 extra masks today just for this scenario. <laughs> I really didn't think I was gonna cry, but I was like, you know what? I know myself enough to be prepared. <laughs> okay, I think we need to go on a ride. We need to do something. Should we go to Haunted Mansion? Yeah, let's do Haunted Mansion. Okay. Last time we were here, they were painting the castle and now it's rose gold. What do you think? I think it's absolutely beautiful. I think my favorite thing about it are the like iridescent blue spires. Yeah. And the gold. It's so fancy now. And for the 50th, they've announced that they're gonna do like this whole like lighting package on it. Looks yeah. like it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be beautiful. This is Ordinary Adventure approved. <laughs> <laughs> when you're on vacation, it kind of sucks now because nobody wants to touch each other's phones. Like, you know, COVID and all that stuff. And all you have here at Disney is like the photo pass photographers, which sometimes you gotta pay for. Sometimes they take you the photo that you don't want. So if we want to take our own photo, you want to get a wide angle photo. You want to use the back camera of your phone, but you can't see yourself in the back camera of your phone. So what I do is I put my, my watch. I go up here and I go to camera remote app and it will open up, it takes a second and then you see us. And then we could take a photo. Let's see if we could take a photo here of, of us here. It takes a, a three second, three, two, one. But there you go. You, you got a good photo. You framed it well. You don't have to take it a billion times like trying to get like the right framing that you want. It's Peter Hack. That actually, after I mentioned it on our live stream, it went like viral. It was like picked up by Engadget and a ton of other websites. So everybody knows it now, but 
That's the Peter hack. And you can do it with video too. So if you're vlogging, you can vlog on your phone on the back camera. More music just started. What is happening? <laughs> we were just here getting photos from a photo pass photographer. Yeah, and I just finally like kind of stopped crying and then now more music is happening. This sounds like a princess, princess music, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, oh no, it's Winnie the Pooh. I love Eeyore, he's the best. <laughs> yeah, I love that he's just like sad in the back, yeah, just hanging in there. He is my forever mood. But how many of these cavalcades are there gonna be? We've been here like 10 minutes. <laughs> okay, let's go to Haunted Mansion. Liberty Square is always weird to me because we don't have it in Disneyland, so it's like, what, what is this? I know, <laughs> I was just thinking that. I was like, where are we? Oh yeah, <laughs> Liberty Square. This is the third one. We haven't even made it to Haunted Mansion yet. Looks like it's the big cheese himself. It's Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Peter! I don't know what I did, but you gotta help me get out of this. <laughs> the line for the Haunted Mansion is all the way over by the Country Bear Jamboree, which sounds like it's really long. I mean, it is really long, but because everything's here is socially distanced at Walt Disney World, what that actually means is only like a 30 minute wait. It's just like, you know, there's six feet between each party. Yeah, this line looks long and scary, but we've basically been moving this entire time, so I'm not worried about it. start to hear the music. I will say, I like the Haunted Mansion at Disneyland better, but this one has got a way better queue. I've never noticed that this gravestone over here, actually her eyeballs move. Spooky. to me that I've only ever been on Disney World's version of Haunted Mansion one time and it was on my very first visit which was like a long time ago let's say like 10 years ago it's so different there's just there's so many extra scenes and it's way darker way scarier I think you might be right I think I actually might like the inside of that more but the outside of Disneyland's better <laughs> wow! Oh my god. Look at him, he's right here. That was so cool. I've never seen them before. I think the only thing that this is missing is the hat box ghost. But this one I think is my current favorite because it's the first one we've been on in over a year. So for that respect, it wins. Although when, when we were in the ride, you said that this one's darker than Disneyland's. I think it's just you're coming out from the Florida sun. It's like so bright outside. You think so? Yeah, and your eyes just like don't adjust. It seemed way creepier in there. Way darker, way creepier. It feels so good to be back on Disney rides again. Disney dark rides. I'm hungry. Where do you want to eat? I think we need to visit my, my best friend, Sunny Eclipse in Tomorrowland. I love how different Tomorrowland in Walt Disney World is from our Tomorrowland in Disneyland. For instance, Star Traders over there is not an, a Star Wars store. It's like just a, uh, a random sci-fi merch shop. Here's some musical food you can taste with your ears. Cosmic Ray Starlight Cafe is a super galaxy franchise. One day I said to Cosmic Ray, my pay is really slightly pallid. I'd like to get a Cosmic Ray's today, but instead he gave me soup and salad. I 
got all our food. Hope I don't drop it before we get outside. This is something that they added during the holidays and it's now become like a main item here. And a lot of people are speaking very highly of this. This is a spicy chicken sandwich topped with bacon, sriracha aioli, pickle slaw, pepper jack on a brioche bun, and it comes with french fries. I'm not sure if you guys know this, but I am a connoisseur <laughs> of spicy chicken sandwiches. He really, really is. This is actually true. He really, hey, really is. Hey, I don't claim, I don't make claims that are not true. I have fallen in love with spicy chicken sandwiches. Popeyes is the best in terms of like fast food. If you're in LA, you gotta go to Hall and Ray's. Let's see how this compares. I usually don't get it with cheese on top, but we'll try it with the cheese because that, that's the way the chef. That's how Sunny Eclipse intended it yeah. to be. Mm -hmm. This actually looks pretty good for a theme park sandwich. Mm. <laughs> this is very solid. It has a little bit of spice. Not a lot. I'll say the bun is not as soft as it, it as it could be. Oh no. That said, this is very, very solid. This is like, I'm surprised because in Tomorrowland back home in Disneyland, you want to stay away. I'm not, I can't speak for the rest of the menu out here at Cosmic Rays, but this spicy chicken sandwich is very solid. Wow. Five out of five Peters. Whoa. Five out of five Peters for a sandwich at Cosmic Rays. Never thought I'd see the day. This does look pretty good. I I do love cheese, so I'm excited for the cheese aspect of this. How spicy can this actually be? Mm. We'll say the spice doesn't hit you right away. Mm. Mm -mm. Wow, this is so tasty. There's so much flavor in this. I'm honestly shook. This is really, really delicious. This reminds me of like the spicy chicken sandwich at Wendy's, which I like love. Five out of five Kitras, Ordinary Adventure Star. I'm kind of sad that we got one and we're splitting it. Like I could, I could eat a whole one of these myself. <laughs> For dessert, we got ourselves the Cheshire Cat Tail. This is an item that's normally sold at the Cheshire Cafe, which is located right across the street from Cosmic Rays. But I saw this on the menu when I was doing mobile order and I just had to get it. This is a puff pastry twisted with chocolate and drizzled with pink and purple icing. So can it live up to the hype? It looks, oh my God, look at, look at all that chocolate. Yeah, it's one of those Instagrammable yeah. snacks. Yeah. It definitely is. It smells like a chocolate croissant. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna love it. This is delicious. It tastes exactly like a chocolate croissant. I was afraid that the frosting on top of this was gonna be like too much. You know what I mean? Like too sugary, but I think it actually complements it very well. I know I'm probably the last person on earth to tell you this. You probably already had it. You already know that it's good. But now you could get it inside Cosmic Grays. This is another thing. I feel like we should've got two of these because I really don't want to share with you. <laughs> you don't like chocolate, right? So like, so you can have that and I can have the, the sandwich? Deal. Deal. How many kitros? The question is, what do we ride next? Trick question. We're not going on a ride. We're going to an attraction. I think we should go ride Carousel of Progress. It's one of our favorite things here. We gotta do it. I gotta be honest, it's very crowded here. It is very easy to socially distance, but it seems like a lot of the people here don't seem to care. But Disney is setting setting it up to succeed. And I, th I feel safe, but it does feel like a lot of people just don't care. That said, people are wearing their masks, unless they're like eating or stop drinking. But the distancing, you kind, it's kind of on you. You kind of have to defensive drive. And I, I, I do think it's possible, even on like a very busy day like today. What ride are we gonna go on next? How do you feel about Little Mermaid? You know, I even miss Little Mermaid. Let's go to Little Mermaid. Okay. <laughs> you know, I've never been on this version of the Little Mermaid. Is it any different? No? It's exactly the same, 
Except just like the Haunted Mansion, the queue is like so much better. Like look at how epic this is. Yeah. Yep. The world's a fascinating place, isn't it? Hey guys, wash your hands. You know those crabs will pick up anything they find on the beach. Very unsanitary. They have animatronics in the queue here. This is like so much better than our Little Mermaid. The wait time for this said 40 minutes and there was no way that was 40 minutes. Probably like 10. Wait a minute, you look kind of familiar. It's funny, I know that ride is like super popular here in Magic Kingdom, but over in Disney California Adventure, it never has more than like a five or ten minute wait. And if it's not a walk on because we're spoiled annual, or we were spoiled annual pass holders, we wouldn't go on it. But you know, after not going on it for a year, I totally, I totally appreciate that ride. What did you think of Little Mermaid? I loved it. That is one of my favorite dark rides and just rekindled my love. One of my favorite Disney movies too. Oh, I wanted to be Ariel when I was younger. I either wanted to be her or one of her many sisters. <laughs> They're all amazing. <laughs> that t-shirt is not wrong. It's not wrong at all. <laughs> Over in New Fantasyland, they have Gaston's Tavern, which is in this like beautifully decorated square. And inside there, they have some of the, like, the most talked about here at the Magic Kingdom, including this cinnamon roll. It's a gigantic cinnamon roll. I'm not sure if you can see this. It's like the oh. size of my head. Oh, <laughs> we can see right? it. Right? And it looks so good. Like, how does this compare to the Cinnabon? I don't know. We're gonna oh, have to find out. Good question. For science. Here, here we go. I don't even know where to go. Yeah. Where do I even go in? Kitra got some forks and knives. No, we're just doing it with our hands. We sanitized, we're good. This is very sweet, very soft. It's a great, I mean, it's a cinnamon bun. So if you like cinnamon buns, you'll it's, like this. Smells good. I can smell it all the way from here. Yeah. I guess if I only have one complaint, is you get all that frosting on the top and then it goes down so far. So then when you're eating this part, you don't have any frosting there. The heck? Yeah. What the heck? There should be frosting like inside. I guess there is. I guess I lied. There is some frosting inside there. Anyways. I give us a four out of five Peters. Very good. Breakfast of champions. Be in a sugar coma. I mean, <laughs> we were so exhausted. We're five days in this, into this yeah. 10 day trip and I need this sugar. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I think we gotta go on Big Thunder. I think that's next. Yeah, that's one of our favorites. It is. Let's do it. It's funny, all the lines here are like comically long in size. Like we're going on Big Thunder and the line is going through where they like normally board the train. I've never been up here before, so you know, gotta look on the, the bright side of it, right? Yeah. <laughs> but I'm guessing that this line is not as long as what it, it claims to be. At least that's what I've seen thus far here on this trip. It's like we're barely like waiting. It's just walking, 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 and then you stop for a second, then you walk some more. Burning off those cinnamon roll calories. <laughs> some of them. Some of them, yeah. Okay. Got some exciting news. What's the news? Kitra Cam. It's back? Finally back. I oh, know. How do you feel about that? <laughs> Don't like it at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm fogging up my fogging up my glasses by doing that. The real reason we got to use the GoPro is because it's too windy on this ride. Yeah, yeah. so put your cameras back for this ride and this ride only. These plexiglass things turn this into like a corn maze. I know it feels like Halloween Horror Nights. Yeah. <laughs> so how does this work? Okay, so we check the dial and then you. You push it down, and then an explosion. Got it? I just thought it was theming, but apparently it was for this, where you could do it and then make make it explode outside. That would have been so cool. Oh, dang it! Why 
are they taking away all the interactive Q elements? Because you're not supposed to be touching things. I think that's why. We could be rich. And I think this is another interactive queue element. Like normally you could crank this and something would happen. But COVID, so that's removal. That's removal? I get it. We get it. Everybody gets it. The trains are right down there. And we're about to board them. Set it 65 minutes on the sign. Probably only 30, so almost uh, less than half the, the time, so not, not too bad. You can't talk. It is interesting they didn't put anybody behind us or in front of us, so they are distancing the, the, the coaster. Yeah, I love to see it. And partners, for your safety, remain seated with your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the train, and be sure to watch your kids. If any of you folks are wearing hats or glasses, just remove them, because this here's a wild It's right in the wilderness! Yeah! <laughs> I don't think I've ever actually removed my glasses, but we'll do it today. I like that it goes out over the water. I like, uh, you know, I like Disneyland better because it has that ending with the explosion. Yeah. But, but this is. But this one's awesome. pretty good. Yeah, too. it's pretty awesome. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Those pizza egg rolls that I've heard so much about, but like apparently that's like rarely open. So come on, guys, bring me good vibes. I'm begging you. I need those egg rolls. <laughs> Dang it! It's okay. The, the chances were slim. I know you guys tried your best with the positive vibes, but wasn't meant to be. We'll find something else to eat. <laughs> so everybody talks about this castle, how beautiful this castle is. Why is nobody talking about this trash can? Look at how cute this little trash can is. I've never noticed this trash can before until today. Let's, let's show some appreciation to this trash can from now on, okay? We started it here today. You think I'm kidding, I'm not. I don't think I've ever actually walked through this <laughs> castle before. Oh really? Look at all these beautiful mu mu mosaic, I couldn't, I can't even talk. Look at all these beautiful mos, mos <laughs> Look at all these beautiful mu mosaic? Yep. Look at these beautiful mos, <laughs> look at these. <laughs> <laughs> What is wrong with you today? Look at these beautiful mosaics. 
They're so pretty. They are. <laughs> Not only that, look at the, the pillars. There's actually the mice and stuff from Cinderella. I've never noticed this before. Oh, I did not notice those. I, I did definitely notice the mosaics. Mosaics? <laughs> mosaics. Mosaics. <laughs> now we both get it. <laughs> and I found Gizmo. Don't worry, he's at the Magic Kingdom. Santa! Oh my god, the Santa! evil stepsisters from Cinderella. We we're just admiring their beautiful mosaic. And they're right over here. The stage just keeps getting better and better. <laughs> she was posing for you first. Yes. No, I was posing first. Are you? Yes. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh wait, I just missed. Oh, uh, troublemaker. <laughs> it's called having motions in my portraits. Mine are gonna turn out. I'm so sorry. Oh. You're what I call a poster. No. She was more excited about my portrait than her yours. You both are beautiful. That's true. I love them. <laughs> I think those are my favorite Disney characters. Besides Gaston, those are like the best meet and greet characters at any Disney park. Fight me. Who's your favorite meet and greet character? Leave it in the comments down below. It's them, isn't it? <laughs> Petra had this plan to get these buffalo chicken tots. Is it closed or is it just over here? I don't know, it looks like it's close oh to me. Oh my god, what is going on? Get to your luck today. So many things I wanted is closed. I was gonna get these corn dog nuggets. That's closed. Egg rolls, closed. Fired nooks, closed. Unless it's right here. I have. Oh no, did I mess up majorly? Why does everything close early? Why? <laughs> Oh, I can't believe that, seriously. Dang. Everybody learn from my mistakes here. So a thing we're discovering is that a lot of places here at the Magic Kingdom close at three or four. When all else fails, you gotta just get yourself a Mickey pretzel. So that's what I'm doing. These birds are all over the place here. Waiting for the food. All right, someone's gonna drop something. Didn't realize it came with cheddar cheese flavored <laughs> cheese snack. It's not um, actual cheese, just flavored. cheddar cheese flavored on the go. <laughs> Perfect. Look at how many of how many birds there are. Here. This is like insanity. They have taken over. Disney World. What is going on? There's even birds over here. <laughs> Can't be trusted. He wants my cheese flavored sauce. <laughs> it's been a really long time since I've had a Mickey pretzel and I don't think I've ever had it with the cheese sauce, so. It's a classic. You know that gets a five out of five kit dress. I couldn't give it any less. Waiting behind you? Well, waiting. I was just thinking there's a lot of bird poop right here. I probably shouldn't be sitting right in this area, but yes, I, I'm aware of my surroundings. We're looking at t shirts in the Emporium. This one caught my eye. It's like a tie dye, but it's only the printing is tie dye. That's kind of cool. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> I like that you're like, interesting, that's your word I for it. I feel like if it was brighter, I might like it. Yeah, but... it does look really faded, huh? Yeah. This is what it looks like after I wash our clothes one time in the wash, huh? Look <laughs> at this one. I like how shiny that one is. Oh, yeah. Beep, beep, beep. This t-shirt over here says the original Walt Disney World. I feel like it's trolling Disneyland parents. Castle. What the heck? Doesn't it? Well, why does it say the original? Like, the original's Disneyland. I mean, I guess it is the original Disney World because, I don't know. I don't, I, I don't like it. Okay. Finally found the shirt for you. What up, dog? <laughs> but he has your sunglasses on. 
Yeah, you're right. Maybe that's a shirt for me. Why do I like that shirt? <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this one. <laughs> See that one? Oh, that's me. Yeah, that is literally you. This is my mood today. I'm just happy to be here. Yeah. <laughs> I really like this retro Walt Disney World t-shirt, but they don't have my size. Kitra likes this t-shirt in right here with... I like this whole section. With Hey Hey. Grumpy. Do I look like I care? This is a vibe. This whole section is a vibe. Talk about retro. I love this like print of the Disney World on the yellow. They have it in like so many different things. They even have it in the spirit jersey. Yeah, that's the front side. And then that's the back side yeah. of water. Tell that we're delirious? No, totally normal. <laughs> I finally found the perfect souvenir for our dogs. They got dog socks here. They have a new Baby Yoda beanie. Don't worry if you want to know how old he is. It tells you that he's 50 <laughs> years old on the beanie. Why is he blue? <laughs> what happened? I don't know. It's a gray. Why is he gray? <laughs> What do you think? You know what? I actually, Have I given up caring I actually, about what people think of me so much that this works? I actually kind of like it. Like, I feel like it would keep me cool. It would. <laughs> Honey, I kind of like it. I don't know. No? No. Okay. I get it. What if I wore it backwards, though? <laughs> then saying, insert snacks in your butt? That's what I was implying. I didn't think you were actually going to say it. <laughs> okay, we're going to be back here at the Magic Kingdom later on this week with a new video. So if you aren't subscribed, hit subscribe below. We want to say thank you to some of our Patreons. That includes the Miller family, Toby Hill, Florian Ernst, and Matthew Rowland. Thank you guys so, so much. An additional thank you to Meg and Santiago. Without you guys, we wouldn't be here in Florida. Yeah, thank you guys from the bottom of our hearts. It's because of you that you get to see this Magic Kingdom video today. So thank you, thank you, thank you. If you want to see more of our Walt Disney World Florida adventures, we'll put the videos right over there. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see, see you, you on, on the, the next, next adventure. adventure. Where's she going? <laughs>